Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about history corruption in Nigeria and fraud in India. In the metals company pilot test hidden gem, Ocean Infinity's armada at sea, and Red Rock sold Cadillac crisis more cash. Time for a quick and dirty look at three of our favorite topics corruption in oil and gas, new marine technology, and the wine industry. Just to be clear, there is no imputation or allegation of any corruption intended or implied outside the stories about Nigeria and India, except in the British Virgin Island or BVI. As usual, Nigerian failure last week column on the multiple boosts impacting Nigeria provoked some criticism from readers in Africa's most populous country. They did not dispute any of the factual point I made. Also, instead, they said that COVID had led to oil wells being shut in and that it took time and effort to restart them, in which they claimed explained Nigeria's falling production. This ignores the fact that between 2019 not today, Nigeria slumped from being the largest, largest oil producer in all of Africa to being the fourth largest today with production that is lower than it was in 1990s. All countries experienced the calamitous fall in the oil prices to less than 30 US dollar a barrel in April 2020. Some wells were shut in and some development plans were delayed pretty much everywhere. But Nigeria has been slammed hard very because of its value to attract investment in new exploration and also production. And because of its value to manage its existing oil and gas assets properly. Indeed, in July, a Dutch Nigerian workforce went on strike. It is reducing production by 2,020 barrel by crude per day or BBD. According to the local press, Adak's dark roots in the days of dictatorship at the heart of Nigeria's problems lie bad governance, bribery, and corruption, and a system designed to enrich insiders. A recent report by the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project or OCCRP highlights the, that the crooked beginnings of ADAC's operation in Nigeria in the 1990s. ADAC is one of the Nigeria's largest and most prominent oil producer and is very active in the trading of ravine products right across Africa. Also, the company is owned by China's the Shinopec Group and operates for oil mining licenses in Nigeria, OML 123, 124, 126, and 137, working under production sharing contracts with Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, or NNPC. Adak's success was remarkable as the company started with nothing, despite having no record in oil and gas exploration and production. Adax was awarded the licenses formerly held by Ashland by, by the Nigerian government in 1998. In the words of OCCRP, the deal set off a spectacular rise for the Swiss-based firm, in which had been founded in 1987 in Geneva by four Swiss businessmen and was registered in the BVI. From the 1998 until 2009, ADAX increased production in these licenses areas to about 130,000 BPD according to Politics Nigeria. However, in recent years, there have been no new investments in the assets 
a massive tax dispute with the government in the Abuja had ensured and by 2021 ADAX production in Nigeria had declined to around 25,000 BBD. Nigerian president and oil minister and his brother Benefit ADAX had started out trading refined oil products and then moved into storing and distribution oil products in sub-Saharan Africa. In 1994, the parent company founded ADAX Petroleum and began to aggressively court the military ruler of Nigeria, General Sani Abacha. The OCCRP found that ADAX's first activities in Nigeria were dedicated to helping Abacha and his associates set up financial infrastructure to receive millions of dollars worth of bribes. According to later court findings, working on a tip from the France's finance ministry, French investigators would later find that the Pritchard Grainer de Vire, a French-born Adax petroleum executive in the Geneva, had opened accounts on behalf of the Abaja's two oldest sons at Banque Edward, constant in Geneva in 1995. He also set up an account for Bukazi Etete, the brother of Nigeria's oil minister at the time Dan Etete. Did Glencore do that too? Adak's executive letter testified to a French court that they had had paid $5 US million in bribes into the Swiss bank account of Nigeria's oil minister during Abacha's presidency to win the four oil blocks. Further, sums were paid by Adax into the account of Edete's brother, UK-listed miner and commodity trading house Glencore also paid millions of dollars into the same account belonging to Bukazi Etete. OCCRP has found we have covered the Glencore's recent $1.5 billion fines for bribery in Africa here. Your joint account is to win your wife. Oh, with the former head spy of Nigeria, Adak staff then opened a number of curious joint bank accounts in the Switzerland with leading African figures as co-signatories to the accounts. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.